Howdy, howdy, folks. This is your old buddy, Mike Cayley7. Riding to work once again on April 26th, a Tuesday. This is the year 2016 for you anthropologists, a thousand years from now. What a nice day. What a nice day. It's going to go up to 88 degrees today. 88. Can you believe it? Goodness. I will, I will uh, say this about this jacket I have. The FXRG from Harley. The fact that it has tons of vents really helps. When you're moving, the jacket is perfectly fine. It's when you stop or get off the bike and walk around, you just gotta take the jacket off immediately. Which I guess is what it's for, right? I mean, the jacket's to protect you for as you're riding. When you get off the bike, you take it off. Plus, you know, it's got these vent things on the sides of the fairing that direct the wind directly, uh, direct the wind directly, huh? Anyway, the wind goes right up into the vents in my jacket, the way they design it. And I got vents in the back so the air can flow right through. Pretty smart engineering there, folks at Harley. What's next, air conditioning? So I was thinking about motorcycle technology and how much it's changed in the 10 short years that I've been riding. And thinking about what it'll be 10 years, 20 years, 30 years from now. Because you know how people always like to tinker with things and make things better. So let's, let's envision the future, shall we? Imagine motorcycle tires that will inflate and deflate as needed for the perfect uh, condition as you're riding. You never have to go to an air pump again. And you'll know what the pressure is because there'll be a little readout. You don't have to buy an extra thing, it'll just come standard. Wouldn't that be cool? Imagine a bike that you didn't have to use a kickstand on unless you wanted to. You pull up, you stop, you get off the bike, the bike stands up straight on its own. It's something that already exists. So imagine that thing's standard. You never have to worry about your bike tipping over ever again. It is a radical change. Imagine getting on your motorcycle and uh, saying, take me to wherever, and the bike will take you there. You don't have to do anything. Just You could even take your hands off the handlebars if you wanted to. I don't really see much of a point in that, but I'm sure that somebody will develop the technology for it. Of course, electric motorcycles, that's going to be a thing in the future. Much more widespread than it is today. How about a motorcycle that will slow itself down for road conditions? Turns and curves and traffic situations. Airbags on the bikes, airbags on the clothes. Cameras all around. You'll have up to the second information on weather, traffic conditions, what's happening all around you. Local information, tourist destinations, street names, all flashed on a screen in, your, in front of your eye there, or in your eye. Imagine that. All wheel steering on a motorcycle? Wouldn't that be weird?
Imagine the close corners you can make with all-wheel steering. I don't even know if that's a th if that would be a thing, but you know the cars can do it. Why not bikes? How about this on a Harley? Extending and retracting windshields. Wouldn't that be cool? Like a Suzuki Berkman? I think that would be nifty. Extending and, and contracting, whatever, you can move them around at, at the push of a button. Uh, foot pegs, brake levers, hand levers, all of it adjustable. Handlebars adjustable. The baffles in your exhaust adjustable. Wouldn't that be cool? Basically, everything would be an option at that point, you know? These are just some of the innovations that could possibly come in the near future. 10, 20 years, maybe. Some of these things I know people will rebel against, just like the liquid cooling on the Harleys and the ABS brake thing. But, uh, you know, things change. That's when people say, I'm going to only get the old bikes. That's fine. But there will always be people who say, oh, I want that new stuff. Where there's a, a will, there's a market. Where there's a market, there's a way. All right, this is my Kaylee 7. I will talk to you later. Later.